Good morning, everybody. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. December 28th, we just had exports released here moments ago. Um, corn, they expected to see uh, 150,000 to 300,000 tons. Um, we got 104, so just better than 104. That's going to be looked at as a little bit negative in corn. Uh, beans, they wanted 100,000 to 300,000. Now, you guys have to remember, uh, we did have some cancellations last week from China. And, um, well, we came out today at 87,000. That's pretty negative for beans. And uh, with wheat, they wanted to see 500,000 to 700,000. So kind of a lofty goal, and they got it. Uh, 1.009, so just over a million metric tons um, booked there for wheat. And uh, that's going to be looked at as friendly today in wheat. So more of a negative, uh, negative sales today for corn and beans, uh, but certainly friendly for wheat. Corn right now is right about unchanged. We've got beans still a little higher. We're still up about four cents, uh, but wheat jumping about eight cents right now. So building some strength. We've seen some weaker trade uh, over the last several days, and uh, maybe we can see a little strength here today now that these sales are out of the way. But um, we'll see what that does today. Uh, still a lot of concern right now with this fiscal cliff, as everybody is concerned with. How are we going to end the year? What kind of tax increase are we going to see, and where do we stand with that? Um, that seems like you turn on TV or you look at the news, and that's all you hear about at this point. But it is something that uh, it is affecting uh, the energy markets and the dollar uh, pretty significantly. As of right now, the dollar is up 16 so maybe there's a little boost of confidence that we're going to get something done here by the end of the year. Uh, with that, though, it seems like the dollar and crude oil have been running very close together. So if the dollar rallies, we tend to see the energy markets back off. Well, here today we are sitting about unchanged for crude yet, still up near that $91 a barrel. Um, and these do the dollar itself is actually near some, some pretty pivotal lows. So we really have to watch that. Uh, if the dollar does go down some more, it seems like it should support commodities. Well, it's supporting the energies uh, as of right now, so that may give a boost here to, uh, to crude oil, uh, unleaded gas, and heating oil as well. Um, as far as livestock, fat cattle right now unchanged. Really waiting to see what's going to happen here today. Box beef was a little stronger yesterday. Uh, we did have choice up two cents last night, select up 30 cents. So we saw a, a very good... Uh, wholesale beef price there a couple days ago, still remaining steady. You've got cash bids right now coming in at 124, asking 129. That was as of yesterday. Um, we're expecting to see maybe 126 trade today, and uh, that'd be steady with last week. Last week we saw about a dollar and a half increase, uh, and we're expecting hopefully to hold steady here this week. So not a lot of movement right now as far as cattle. Hogs up about 12. We've seen some very sloppy cash trade back and forth here over the last few days and um, not a lot of news out of there uh, in the hogs but uh, we do expect to see cash trade to remain uh, choppy to lower uh, going through this week but we the seasonal tendency is that we typically see some kind of a, uh, a cash rally here after the first of the year so it seems like any kind of significant losses right now might be held but um, not a lot of news for hogs uh, I do want to mention our conference coming up. Guys, it's coming up quick. So um, that's the end of January 25th and 26th. Make sure you give us a call here today. Let's get a seat reserved for you. Uh, we've got some great speakers coming. David Hightower, uh, he'll be there. Drew Lerner, who's done a fantastic job for us over the last few years, um, as well as our own Rich, uh, Rich Nelson, will be there giving an outlook for that as well. Um, but give us a call, 800-262-7538, or check us out online, allendale-inc.com. I hope you guys have a great day today, and I'll speak to you a little later. Take care.